Hi guys, and welcome back to Astrology, Astrology Girls. Girls! Good morning, everyone. It's, what is today? Friday, Friday March 11th. March 11th. March 11th, today. I'm Annika. I'm Alex. And, and again, we're the Astrology, Astrology Girls. <laughs> Today is a very fun episode. We are talking about tarot today and how it relates to our astrology signs, kind of some basics behind it. Um, I'm very excited for this episode. I am more of the tarot girl here. Um, so yeah, we can start by getting into some background. You guys are going to have to listen to me talk for a minute. <laughs> but um, tarot is a card reading method used as a powerful tool to direct one's life. A lot of people use it as kind of like some, a basis to make decisions. Um, some people think it's um, a hoax. Some people just, you know, think it's fun and interesting and that's where I fall. Um, most traditional decks have about 78 cards in the deck um, and then you have within that deck you have the major arcana which has 22 cards within it. These are the most powerful cards. So typically when these are pulled, um, they refer to like your major influences and revelations. Um, these cards don't have suits and stand alone representing significant life events or um, figures in a person's life. So that's why when people get like the moon card, the star card, um, there's 22 so I can list them all. Um, it's signifying change or signifying something that needs to happen or that is going to happen. Um, there's also 56 minor arcana, arcana cards. Um, by contrast, these are more like everyday matters and influences. And these cards are divided into four um, things. The suits, the wands, um, oh, into four suits, I'm sorry. The wands, the swords, the pentacles, and cups. Um, which this kind of goes back to our astrology sign where it has um, four different categories. Um, just like we have the air, um, fire, earth, and water signs, we also have the wands are fire, the swords are air, and the pentacles are earth, the cups are water. So just kind of like it has the four divisions. There's also a bunch of ways to read a deck. Traditionally, um, when you see like people read, it's usually the, th the three card spread, which is your past, present, and future. Um, there's a bunch of them. You can also get like the pentagram spread, which is if you go to like a, a psychic and they're doing a formal read of you. Um, this one I believe is nine cards um, and it signifies all different types or all different um, things in your life. We also have the Cel Celtic cross. There's so many more um, that we could get into, but we're going to talk about how these cards relate to your astrology sign since we are an astrology podcast. Um, but um, all these things kind of go hand in hand. Um, most people who like astrology also tend to be interested in tarot. So, yeah. So, we have an article provided by um, Bustle.com, mm -hmm. an article by Bustle.com titled, your Zodiac Signs Tarot Card Explains by Nina Khan. Um, in case anyone wants to go and check it out for themselves, because there are some things in here that we're just not mentioning. Like, we're going, we're not going to read, like, no. the big captions yeah. of the bios. We're just kind of talking about the signs individually. Yeah. So should I go ahead and get started? Yeah. All right, so since we know our astrological calendar starts with the sign Aries, that is what we are going to start with. And Aries, the card is um, the tarot card um, that... Uh, with okay we're, we're starting with the article question yeah. mark okay i can start hold on sorry we had a little bit of a communication error so i'll start with describing the card so the um okay the card um that aries has is the emperor card so the emperor just because we are a talking only podcast i'll provide a visual um the emperor who sits on his throne with a um separate ten globe in each hand represents stability rules and authority um, so the meaning of this card translates that the emperor, the emperor may be old and wise, but he is strong and stubborn and represents the result of taking firm and deliberate action. So if this card were to be pulled in a reading of yours, it's um, kind of telling you if you're pondering on a decision that it's time to take action instead of holding back and um, move forward with that. So Alex, you can talk about how it kind of correlates with being an Aries. Okay, I'm just going to read verbatim what the article says. All right. 
It says the Emperor corresponds with Cardinal Fire Sign Aries. This card is aligned with take charge energy of leadership. Emperors are rulers with great power after all. It also denotes impatience as the Emperor wants to take actions on things immediately. This sounds a lot like Aries, the Zodiac's fearless leader known for their impulsive personalities. And just like the Emperor, Aries are very proactive given that they are cardinal signs. Yes, how do you feel about that description? Um, one thing that I first noticed about the description is the impatience. Yeah, that's kind one of One thing like we've learned about Aries placements, common, they are impatient. Common factor we keep hearing. Um, kind of goes along though with the, the ability or I guess need to make a decision and move on. Um, so that makes sense for an Aries. Next we have Tar Taurus, sorry I don't know why. Um, which is the Hierophant. Hierophant. And I don't know. I always think, like, elephant when I see that word. I know. I never, like... It just gives elephant yeah. vibes. So this one, um, just to give you a graphic, um, it's another person sitting on, like, a throne. There are two people kneeling, um, with keys beneath his feet. Um, he is the embodiment of rules, tradition, and conformity. He can be interpreted as the need for acceptance from others and to fit into society. Um, so if you pull this card, it usually um, suggests adherence to rules and principles, which can indicate being a part of a group of people, um, maybe taking a leadership role or being a mentor. Um, so if you pull this card, um, this could definitely be um, maybe you're heading in the right direction with a job or something and you uh, are worried about... I don't know where I was going with that thought. <laughs> it was coming to me for a second. Um, basically, it's a leadership card, so you're a good um, influence and role model in the society that you're in or community that you're in. All right, Alex, take it away. All right, it says here that the Hierophant, Hierophant? Yeah. Okay, the Hierophant corresponds with fixed earth sign Taurus. This card represents spiritual tradition, wisdom, and morality. It likes to stick to the tried and true methods of doing things instead of straying from the beaten path. Similar, similarly, Dependable Taurus is all about going slow and steady. This sign is known for being stubborn, so its energy aligns well with the traditional vibes of the hero fan. I agree. I think that's very applicable to Taurus placements. Yeah, I also agree. Um, yeah, because we talk about like Taurus being... Um, sorry. Just very, like, stable and yeah, very, like... Yeah, I'm trying to think of the word. Like, yeah. just very... Stagnant, kind of. Yeah, they know what they like. Yeah. Yeah. So they're very, like, reliable, unlike some yeah. other signs. But nothing wrong with that.